Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. I'm a flight attendant, makeup artist, and perfume enthusiast. Um, so I'm currently not doing makeup. I just thought I'd say that. I'm currently focused on my job, my family, and you know what? I've lately just been so, like I've always been into beauty, um, but lately I've gotten really into collecting perfumes. So anyway, here we are. And today's video is going to be on Bond 9 fragrances. Bond 9 is giving so much, and there are so many amazing fragrances. And all of Bond 9's perfumes, are um, were created um, based on different neighborhoods or different parts of Manhattan and um, they're all just really exciting and high energy and incredible fragrances. Um, I will mention that most of these are more on the pricey side. Um, I have not found um, like dupes or clones or for, for most of these but I can get working on it and I only have three of these fragrances in my collection right now. I do have three samples that I'm also going to talk about as well um, but I'm planning to add more as we go. So there are like, there's um, Bond 9. I really like the Dubai collection. Um, and I also like Nomad. That's like probably my favorite one. So anyway, um, let's dive in. The first one that we're going to discuss today is going to be Tribeca. Tribeca is a uh, floral oriental and I love this chic white packaging. It's so beautiful. This one retails for about $460 for 3.4 fluid ounces, so it's definitely more on the pricey side. Um, that is on the Bomb 9 website. I purchased this at Saks Fifth Ave on Fifth Ave in NYC in Manhattan, so you could um, also try other places. I did notice this on Amazon. Um, I, I don't know any of the specifics about that, though. So anyway, um, this one is really, really pretty. This one smells so creamy. That's like like cashmere is really what I get when I spray this one. Um, I don't wear this one very often. It's light and sweet and cute and pretty. And I'm more of just like, um, I like heavy hitters. I like warm, spicy ouds. And this one is just just um, a nice, pretty, this like is giving wedding vibes. That's like, this is what I'd wanna wear and smell like on my wedding, I think. Um, so yeah, this um, was, it's like de described as sophisticated and young, just like the neighborhood. So um, the top notes are cacao and hazelnut, which I definitely smell the chocolate there. Um, our heart notes are cedar and jasmine. And our base notes are, I smell the cedar. Like it's a baby cedar, it's just a little bit. Um, and our base notes are ambroxan, moss, and caramel. So um, I feel like it's, this is a really nice, it's a nice, quiet, pretty, like uh, sophisticated and classy fragrance. Um, and Fragrantica describes this one as caramel, amber, woody, nutty, sweet, white floral, musky cacao, and warm and spicy. And I think what really drew me to this one is the cacao. I really love things that have chocolate in them. Like I'm really attracted to chocolate and oud, those and warm and spicy. So yeah, that one's a really nice option. So that's Tribeca. Um, and the second one that we're going to discuss is going to be, and these are in no order, um, Madison Avenue. Excuse the fact that I do not have a lid for this one. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one's really pretty. Um, this is definitely a, a floral scent. Um, and this one was created, this is a, as described by Bond 9, a shopping scent. So this was created to um, describe the boutiques all along Madison Avenue, which is amazing. And it really does remind me of that. Like, um, I grew up in Tampa and there's this area called Hyde Park. And I used to go shopping there with my mom when I was a kid. And this reminds me for some reason of one of the little boutiques that I would go to there. Anyway, random tidbit, just thought I'd throw that out there. But anyway, um, so yeah, this one retails for $440 um, for 3.4 mLs. Like I said, you could purchase this on Amazon. I'm not sure of the authenticity or this or that, but it is available there and for a lower price. Um, so basically, uh, our top notes for this are blackcurrant, bergamot, and apple. Yeah, so this smells like a bouquet of flowers. Like a, it, this one has more patchouli than the other one. So um, our heart notes are rose, jasmine, and magnolia, and our base are patchouli, praline, and ambroxan. I mostly smell the patchouli and the black currant and the jasmine. It's a really beautiful scent. I like this one. It's giving so much. Um, and you know, this one is described by Fragrantica as fruity, sweet, rose, floral, patchouli, citrus, amber, fresh, woody, and white floral. And I think that's a really perfect. <laughs> Again, having trouble speaking, a really perfect and accurate example of what, um, or description rather, of what this fragrance truly smells like. So I like that one. Um, 
My current favorite that I own right now is going to be Chelsea Knights. I've mentioned this one in another video that I did. And I really like this one. Um, however, I just wish the staying power was a little bit better. The other two are like medium projection and medium um, longevity. And I think this one is too. Um, that's the thing though, that I will say is I wish that they lasted a little bit longer for the price point. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but not saying anything negative. I think they're amazing fragrances and I love Bomb Nine with all my heart. I think they're fabulous. So, um, and just look at this packaging for all of these. It's incredible. This is giving so much energy. So, okay. So this is Chelsea Knights and I love this one. This is an Oud fragrance. So I go crazy for Oud as you know. Okay, so this one retails for $460 for 3.4 fluid ounces. So again, on the bougie side, this is a gourmand oriental. So I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. This is a unisex fragrance, whereas the other two are, lean more towards the feminine side. So yeah, this represents the energy of the Chelsea neighborhood, which was why this one was named. So our top notes are going to be um, cocoa and saffron. And I love anything with the spice, the saffron and the, and the chocolate. I'm feeling it. Our hard notes are tuberose, myrrh, cedarwood, and oud. All those felt boop, 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 amazing. And then our base notes are um, patchouli, suede, vanilla, and amber. I smell the suede. I generally don't like a leathery suede scent, um, but this one is, is giving something a little bit extra. It reminds me of Latafa Chic Al Shiuk. That's the one. And I think... I think that's a really nice fragrance too. So that, anyway, but like I said, check other places and see where your prices range and this and that. So, um, but this one is described by Fragrantica as a warm, sp spicy, cacao, woody, leather, amber, patchouli, vanilla, nutty, powdery, and sweet. Um, accurate description, and I do smell the leather in this one. And I generally, like I said, I don't, I don't like leather fragrances, but I do like that one. I think it's giving something extra. Okay, so the next one, I don't have the full size. It's just a little sample that they sent to me recently, and I was really excited about it. It smells cute. So this is Bomb Nine's um, New York Nights. So this is a really, really pretty fragrance. The bottle for this one is a beautiful blue. It's stunning. Um, and it's this one's unisex for sure. And this celebrates like Manhattan skyline at night. That's like how, why the perfume was named. And I think it it definitely does. This one's beautiful. I don't know why I didn't buy this one when I was there. This one's so pretty. Okay, so it's $460 for 3.4 fluid ounces. Our top notes are carnation, gardenia, and jasmine. And our heart notes are sandalwood, sea notes. I'm definitely feeling the little bit of like um, marine vibes there. And patchouli. Don't smell that too much. Mm, maybe a little bit. And our base notes are coffee and caramel. So yeah, I smell the coffee and the caramel big time. Um, this one is like basically Fragrantica is describing this one as caramel, warm, spicy, coffee, woody, patchouli, floral, white floral, sweet, balsamic, and marine. I don't smell the white floral there, but um, I feel like this one could be worn. Probably this is more of like um, for the, the, like a nighttime fragrance, same as Chelsea Nights, but I'd wear it for both. It's really, really pretty and the dry down is gorgeous. It kind of leaves you with a like, kind of a musky, it's a little hard to describe, warm and spicy, I would say. Definitely hits you with that. And I, those marine notes are really pretty. So I, I definitely smell that. And yeah, this one is stunning. So the next one, it's come to my attention that I do not have the Fragrantica notes for it, which is a little on the sad side, but let's see how we can do. This one is Bond Nine's Nolita, and this one is really, really pretty. Um, it comes in a couple different bottles, but the bottle that I think is the prettiest, it's a white packaging, similar, the same body style as the rest of the others, but it's white and it has different colored, like red lips, orange lips, pink lips, like big ones. It's really beautiful. So this is Nolita. And um, Nolita is more of a feminine fragrance. And I sprayed this on myself this morning and I'm like, yes, this one's so pretty. And not typical, not typically something that I would be into, but I really like this one. Okay, so this one retails for about the same as the others, 440 for 3.4 fluid ounces. Um, so it, it was named after the neighborhood Nolita. So this is feminine. Um, and anyway, our top notes are going to be Freesia and Tangerine. Our heart notes are Rose, Lily, and Jasmine. Our base notes are Sandalwood, Amber, and Musk. I'm going to describe this as a white floral sweet. 
This one smells like also like a bouquet of flowers. I definitely smell the rose. Maybe a little bit of vanilla. Let's see, how about I smell a little bit of citrus in there, although it's not mentioned. Jasmine, and I definitely smell the sandalwood. And this one's really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. So that's Nolita. Our next one might be the favorite one that I need to purchase next. And this is a Bon 9 Greenwich Village. Um, the bottle for this one is really cute too. It's like um, an aquamarine color, same body style, but the, it's just really, really pretty. So this is Greenwich Village. I really, really like this one. Um, this is probably my favorite one. And I think it, it's the lychee that I really, really like in there. Um, okay, so this retails for $4.60 for 3.4 fluid ounces. Our top notes are lychee, mandarin, peony, and cassis. It smells like cashmere too. So our heart notes are um, jasmine, water, water lily, and broxen, and patchouli. And our, I don't smell the patchouli. Base notes are praline, vanilla, peach. I'm sorry, vanilla, peach musk, and oak moss. And I'm smelling all of those things. This one, it has a lot of different, um, it's giving you a lot of different things there, but this one is really, really nice. And I do enjoy this one a lot. Um, this one is described by Fragrantica as fresh, musky, sweet, fruity, floral, powdery, aquatic. Yeah, it kind of smells like a vacation, like a holiday. It's nice. Um, amber, vanilla, and tropical. This one's really pretty, and this one's not like anything I own. That's why I'm considering purchasing that one. I like that one. Um, also, they just have so many in their collection that are nice. Um, but those are just the the three that I have and then a few of the samples. But anyway, if you are feeling like treating yourself, these are absolute splurges, um, but amazing fragrances. I feel like for all of them, the projection is is pretty good. On longevity, I feel like you, you're you gonna have to reapply, or at least I do, because I'm the person who always wants to like, you know, be smell. It, they're, I'm saying basically you're they last, they just dry down and then it's like a lighter version, um, which is great, but I want like full beast mode like all the time, so I'm like always in there. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I hope that this was helpful if you are in the market for some Bond 9 fragrances and um, I'll be purchasing some more, hopefully in the near future. I hope that this uh, video finds you doing well. And again, if you have any questions, comments, or anything that you'd like to add, please let me know. Um, or any suggestions. Um, and like I've said before, I get really excited when I see your comments and um, I really like and enjoy hearing from you. So I hope that everyone's well. I hope this finds you doing great and um, I wish you many blessings and I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye.